Hey, my name is Matt Giordano, theyogimat.com. Thank you for watching. Today, I wanna to share with you how to avoid shoulder impingement in downward facing dog. In my last video, I talked about how to avoid shoulder impingement when the arms are up overhead, and that is to allow the outer line of the shoulders to lift. This action is called upward rotation of the scapula. If you haven't watched that video yet, go to theyogimat.com slash blog so you can get a really strong understanding of what I'm about to go over in downward facing dog. So try this with me. Take one arm up overhead, and as you reach up, just try to lift from the outer line of your scapula. So reach up. Now as you reach up, the shoulder comes towards the ear. The tendency is to want to internally rotate the arm. See if you can actually keep the outer arm rotating towards your face as you reach up. Now you'll notice when you do that, your palm faces in. The challenge of that is when you rotate the upper arm externally, that's when the tricep or the armpit turns towards your face, that your hand will want to turn with it. In downward facing dog, that would translate to pressing into the outer edge of the palm, which could cause little issues with the wrist. So in contrast to that, you can actually pronate your forearm. That means you can turn your palm in the opposite direction of your upper arm. So you can rotate your upper arm out and rotate the palm or the forearm, the radial ulnar joint, individually, separately from that. It's important to note so that when you take your arms overhead, you know that you have control of the difference between your forearm and your upper arm. Take one arm up overhead and reach from the outer line of your scapula, like reach up through your pinky. Now when you do that, try to rotate the upper arm, the tricep towards your face a little bit. And then see if you can keep, you can in fact do what I'm doing, you take your hand and hold the tricep in, and then see if you can rotate your palm individually of that. Starting on all fours, rotate the biceps to face forward. Keeping that, press the inner edge of your palms down. If you need to, you can turn your hands out to accommodate for that action. With that, lift your hips up and back. And now here's where it's important. Start to push through the arms, not so your chest drops down, but so that you actually just cr create a long line from the outer rib cage all the way through the palms. Elevating the scapula in downward facing dog can really give you a lot of space in the joint so you can avoid shoulder impingement. If you wanna learn how to balance these actions out with shoulder stability, you wanna incorporate external rotation of the upper arm bone and protraction of the scapula. Now these two actions I go over very thoroughly in theyogimat.com slash handstand. That's the handstand strength training video where I teach you how to stabilize the shoulder girdle for handstand but also for downward facing dog and any other pose where your arms are up overhead. To better demonstrate this, we're gonna break this down into three simple steps to avoid shoulder impingement. Rebecca's gonna demonstrate and I'll lead you through. Step one, rotate the upper arm bones outward so the biceps face away from each other. Step two, in contrast to that, press the inner edge of the palm down, which is the pronation of the forearm. Then come into downward facing dog, trying to maintain those actions. Step three, elevate the scapula. So push the hips up and back and try to get this long angle from the hips all the way down to the arms. Caution. When you are going into elevation of the scapula, even though I'm cueing this to help you avoid shoulder impingement, it creates more mobility in the shoulders. And you'll be tempted to hyperflex at the shoulder joint, which would then create compression again. So see if you can keep the arm bones up at the same angle as your torso and just el pure elevation of the scapula. That means to keep this line and just move the shoulders towards the ears. So repeat the three steps. Rotate the upper arm bones for stability, press the inner edge of the palms down for the wrist, and then elevate the scapula. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, visit theyogimat.com. Also on my website, I have a completely free training, The Art of Adjustments. This is perfect for any yoga teacher really trying to hone and harness their skills with physical adjustments. Thanks so much again. I look forward to seeing you next time.